Delon, extended minutes in a very tightly contested affair for the 905. Your impressions of what your two young prospects did on the court? I was there. I was up in the upper level watching the whole thing, and I was really impressed with the way they played. Um, you know, again, winning and losing in those situations is not that important, but just their approach, the way they competed, uh, the experience they get by going putting themselves in those situations is, is ultra import, important and uh, you know hopefully m maybe there'll be a day where it could be a double header where they play that morning and play that night but again it, uh, the D League is our D League Raptors 905 is paying great dividends for us uh, it helped uh, Lucas come in and get some uh, rust off and again some of our other guys may go down there too and Norm and AB and it's not for punishment it's not a degrading thing it's something to go down and get the rust off uh, I think they do it in baseball as a rehab assignment so um, you know it's a good situation for guys for us to have as a resource for guys to be able to go play 76ers coming in can you believe the season they're having well, yeah, I mean, it, it's their young team. They're one of the youngest teams in the league, along with Milwaukee. Uh, but yet and still, they're very talented. Uh, you know, uh, you watch all these games, you're going to say, whoa, how did, you know, how did they get beat in that game? Because they, they're competing. They're playing hard. Uh, they had Miami to like the last possession down at Miami, which, you know, is a tough place to play. So they're very capable, Cajal. Uh, again, you know, it, 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 we can't look at them and look, can't look at the record. Our, our nemesis has been this year is, is looking at people's record, and we're believing the hype that we've arrived or whatever it is, and uh, it's not that way. We're still a climbing, growing uh, team that's got to be the hungry team on the floor, and if we don't play that way, we put ourselves in a tough position. You've never coached a team like that, but for most NBA players, they've never lost at all. Like they come out of high school and college, where they might lose two games a year, and then suddenly they're losing 40, 50, 60. What is that? How do you manage well, players like that? Uh, uh, Philly situation, but you know, most players that come out of you know AAU programs, high school programs, or whatever it is, are used to winning, and it's difficult. But, uh, you know, every NBA situation is different. Some teams are, are ready to win a championship. Some teams are building. Uh, and again, you've, you've got to be able to handle uh, the ups as well as the downs in the NBA. And, that, and that's, um, I think that's what you're referring to. You've had some losing teams in, in your time as a coach. I mean, what's the, the hardest part about dealing with all the losses? Well, just one I, in, in Minnesota. That's so the one, one experience I had as a head coach. And again, at that time, we were in the playoffs. We were 20 and 20. It wasn't, we were in two and whatever. We were in like seventh or eighth place in the West, which is very tough to be in when I got let go. But, you know, it, it's difficult, um, you know, especially when you have veteran players who have won. Uh, if you're a young team, I don't know, I've never been there with a totally young team. And uh, I, I think that will be even harder because you don't have anything to reference to. So I don't, again, I'm not commenting on Philly's situation. We have our own issues here that we're trying to improve on. All I look at when I look at the 76ers is a team coming into our house full of energy, athletic, and talented. Uh, I'm not even looking at a record. Between high school and college, how many th t games did you think you lost total? Wow, I don't know. It's hard to say. Was in high school and college. Uh, well, and I know when we the year we won the championship in college, I think we lost three games a whole year. So, it, you know, it's, it, it's, it's I, I don't even want to count how many <laughs> I, I lost. But not, not a lot. Not a lot. So, um, but again, it's, it's one of those things. In, that uh, you got to get used to the ups, and that's part of the NBA, being a successful player, being used to the ups as well as the downs. You ever on a bad team as, a, as an athlete? As a, a college player, well, I think we, we went to the NIT my freshman year. Um, you know, so yeah, I've been, you know, I've had, we've had some tough teams. My first year in Minnesota was tough. We didn't make the playoffs. Uh, but um, uh, everything else in Seattle, we won 50 and 60 games every year. Uh, Dallas, we was in the money every year. So again, it, but it's not about that. It's the approach. I don't. Again, the record is one thing, but your professional approach, uh, your winning approach, you've got to. That's why you've got to change things. That's why it's the NBA. You know, you you don't want to fall in that 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 quiet, that uh, quiet, that situation. 
where you just get a losing mentality. You know, you're in this league to win, and that's what you're trying to develop as well as the skill level. Do you think some guys are just winners? Do you still believe that? I think you do. I think DNA, there's some guys that are just natural winners, you know, and then some guys that learn how to be that way. But some guys are born, Kahala, that's who's, a good point. Who's the guy in your mind that you've coached or been around? Was a winner. Oh, I think Gary Payton's a winner. He's a winner. I think Kevin Garnett's a winner. Uh, I think Jason Kidd's a winner. Uh, he's won everywhere he's been as a player. Uh, here, I think Kyle Lowry's a winner. You know, and Demar Derozan. Those guys have have developed. Demar has developed that when we first got here, we were building, and Demar could have easily fell into that that uh, mentality. But he's developed that winning approach. So. I've uh, been around a lot of winning players, you know, in my in in my career as far as a player and as a coach. And uh, so, some guys are just born, and they just will their teams to win, and that's a special trait. Thank you.